Semantic Painter allows you to apply specifications of the parent's features to other target features, meaning you can take the features of one item and place it into another. And I'll go ahead and show you. We're going to go ahead and use it with the whole feature. To do so, move your mouse over the whole feature that you want to recreate on another whole. This has to be from feature to feature. Here I have two holes and I'm going to take this hole here and place it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select on it with my left mouse button and you notice here in the context toolbar we have semantic painter. Go ahead and select that and notice right away that the features of this hole are selected and now go ahead and select the other hole. Notice how the features from the original or the parent are now on the target. When finished, go ahead and just select anywhere outside of the elements. Now let's go ahead and try to do that with the fillet. I'm going to go ahead, select that, and in our context toolbar, I'm going to select the semantic painter. And I'm going to go ahead and try to select a corner on this end or this edge here, and notice it won't let me do that. It has to have a fillet there. So you can go ahead and select outside the element, and let's go ahead and place an edge fillet. Let's say something slightly smaller. I'm going to place it on this one here, and this edge here. Select OK. And let's go ahead and try that again. I'm going to select this larger fillet, and now I'm going to select Semantic Painter, and I'm going to select this fillet here. And notice since these were the same fillets created at the same time, both of them are now sharing the same size as the original. And that is Semantic Painter.